guys, in this video we're going to look at this transmitter from Radiolink. This transmitter, it doesn't look impressive, but this transmitter has got 7 channels, it's fully adjustable and it's pretty affordable. Stay tuned! <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a new transmitter to look at, and this one is made by Radiolink. So this is the first Radiolink that I own. So normally I'm a big fan of Flysky and I'm a big fan of Dumbo RC, so this is my first Radiolink. So this one is very special, let me show you why. This one has got 76 channels. No, just kidding, this one is a 7 channel transmitter and this one has got a lot of specs inside there. So let me get everything out of the box and show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find the transmitter, we've got a lanyard, we've got a little connection cable if you want to use the battery telemetry, we've got a 7 channel receiver and we've got a manual. So what I think that's funny that my manual came in German and the box art is in English so I have to download the English manual, but uh, that's just a small thing. So this is the 7 channel receiver and I really like it. So it feels very sturdy, it's got a gyro inside there and we've got a telemetry of the battery, so this receiver is a thumbs up. So this is like the normal boxed one, but they also have got like these the low profile one, so this is like a 4 channel one, but this one is like, uh, yeah, the box, boxless one, so very small one. So you've got different options for the receivers. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter. And here is the transmitter up close. So it runs on 6 AA's, which you need to supply if you own of course, but this transmitter has got a trick up its sleeve, which I really like. So when you remove the lid, then you can remove the battery compartment like this, and then you can use a 2S, a 3S or a 4S LiPo battery with the JST connector, and I really like that. So for example, this is like a 2S lithium battery, and you can just fit it in there, you know, I really like this option. So Radiolink, good job man. The overall build quality feels okay, so it's a bit bulky in my opinion and it's a bit plasticky maybe, but you know, everything feels okay. So all the buttons has got a very good feel to it and they feel very sturdy, so that's a thumbs up. So this one has got 7 channels, so we've got channel number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and that's all fine. So the steering wheel feels okay, it's got a foam wheel on there, so that's always a good thing, but it's not really capable of one and driving for my hands, so if I try to do so. I am hitting the steering trim, so that's a bit of a downside, but it is what it is. So we've got a lot of buttons to look at, so let's start with the display. Underneath the display you will find four buttons. So you've got an exit button, a decline, an incline and an enter button. If you want to go to enter the menu, just press the enter and the exit once and then you are inside the menu. Just go use the decline and the incline to scroll through the menu. You've got the enter button and of course exit if you want to exit again. Around the steering wheel you will find a couple of buttons. So this is the trim for the steering, this is the trim for the throttle and this is the trim for the auxiliary channel. So I think it's pretty useful if you want to do the on the spot trimmings, you know, just press the button up and down. So for me that's a thumbs up. So these are three position switches. So you've got one, two and three positions of course and this is the, the same one. So this is like the dial which you can change and I think that this one is also used for the gyro function. This is a push button right over there and we've got the last channel sitting right over there. On this side of the transmitter you will find the jack connector and I think this is for the training mode. We've got the on off switch and we've got a USB connection right over there and here you can connect your lanyard. On the top of the transmitter of course you will find the antenna and we've got a little screw connector if you want to add the display or a camera and I think that this is pretty useful. So let me throw in some batteries and make a small setup and then I will come back to you. So guys, I just made a small setup, I've read the instructions and I've been through the menu. And I must say, I'm pretty surprised about this transmitter. So in my opinion, it looks a bit old fashioned. But inside this menu, this is just amazing. You can change every setting you would like to do so. And I mean it, you can change everything. So for example, if you want to go from a locking servo to an inching servo, that's possible. This is channel number 4, but you want to be at channel number 3, that's also possible. You can do a mix mode, you can do the ABS settings, you can do the gyro settings. Settings. You can do, do a throttle curve, steering curve and a lot more, it's just too much to name it all. So therefore I already like this one. As mentioned you can change a lot of things inside the menu, but let me show you the menu first. 
So when you go inside the menu, you've got a lot of things to choose from and not everything is as clear as you would like to have so. So for example, the language, okay, model, and then you've got the EPA. And a lot more, you know, but not everything is very clearly what it's supposed to be or how you have to set it. So therefore it's a bit of a downside. So if you want to do some extended uh, yeah, settings, I really suggest to have the manual next to you to do so. So guys, I just made a small setup to give you a demonstration of the buttons. So the steering and throttle, that is just basic. But for example, what I really do like is the gyro. So you can use those two little buttons to adjust the gyro on the spot, or you can dedicate this dial right over there. So currently the gyro is turned off, but when I turn this down a little bit up, then you can see that the gyro is activated. When I turn it even more up, then you can see it is very, very sensitive. So I really like that. Another thing what I really do like are the three position switches. So for example, these can be used if you have a winch and you want to control the winch so that's pretty useful another thing is for example if you've got a two-speed gearbox so the big server right over there is connected to this one so if you've got a two-speed gearbox this is neutral this is high gear neutral sorry neutral and low gear so I think that's pretty useful. Another thing are the tiny servos over here. So this one is now the inching servo. And what that means is uh, when you press this button, it is engaged, but when you release it again, then it will go back to the original state. But you can also change it into a locking servo. As I mentioned before, this uh, controller, you can change everything that you would like to do so. So this servo is the locking, you know, you just press it once and it will go into the position that you would like to do so. So overall, yeah, this transmitter with the first functionality and all the buttons i really like it so for now i'm going to use it for a couple of days now and then i will come back to you with my final thoughts about this one so guys, I've been using this transmitter for a couple of days now and here are my final thoughts. So the first thing, it's a bit too bulky in my opinion and it looks a bit old fashioned. But the, yeah, put that aside and then you, you will have an awesome transmitter. Why? Well, you will pay around 70 or 80 bucks for this one. You will have a 7 channel uh, transmitter with a 7 channel gyro receiver and you can change everything that you would like to do so. And I mean that you can change everything. So that's a thumbs up for me. I really do like the three position switches on the spot trim. Uh, uh, all around the steering wheel you know that's just a thumbs up i really like the gyro settings and everything or that you can adjust it on the spot you know all those small things are just very very nice a negative thing is the menu so if you want to change some things inside the menu you know i think it's a bit too difficult for me so all the short names inside here i still do not remember everything that you can do with it or where you have to do it so therefore if you want to change some things you know i have to use the manual but when you have set this uh, this transmit up then this this thing is truly amazing in my opinion and you can change everything that you would like to do so another thing what i really do like about this one is the battery compartment so normally it takes six double a's but you can remove that part and then you can install a 2s a 3s or a 4s lipo battery and that's just awesome in my opinion so overall for the money you know 70 80 bucks i think that this is a pretty good buy all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.